Hello students. In previous lecture, I have discussed about uh, principle of superposition for uniform cross section bar. Uh, in today's lecture, I am going to discuss about principle of superposition for the bars of varying cross section area. So, when uh, any structural member which is having varying cross section area along its length. If we are considering any kind of structural member or bar which is having varying cross section area along its length and it is also subjected uh, to an axial force. So, in that condition, the total deformation will be equivalent to some of the deformation of individual section under the action of axial force. So, uh, for example, we are considering a bar uh, which is uh, having three different cross section area. In this figure, you can see we are having uh, three section of this bar which is having different cross sectional area. The first section of this bar having cross section area 1 and the length of this section is L1. And the second cross section area is A2 and the length of the bar is L2. And the third cross section area of uh, this bar um, is A3 and the length is A3. And we are considering an actual force P at both the ends of the bar. So, with reference, uh, uh, with, uh, with reference to the bar, the total elongation is, we are considering delta is the total elongation that will be equivalent to some of the deformation of individual section under the action of that axial force P. So, here we are considering uh, delta is equivalent to delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Here delta 1 is the uh, elongation in section 1, delta 2 is the elongation in section 2 and delta 3 is the elongation in section 3. That will be equivalent to P by E in bracket L1 plus A1 plus L2 by A2 plus L3 by A3. This formula is applicable for the bar of varying section uh, which is uh, subjected by uh, axial force at the ends only. Similarly, if the bar of varying section uh, is subjected to various forces both at its end as well as at the intermediate points, in that condition, we can apply principle of superposition uh, to find out the total deformation of that particular bar. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for the total deformation, we can compute uh, it by drawing the free body diagram of individual section. The total deformation for such kind of bar, if we are considering the delta is the total deformation for that particular bar, that will be equivalent to 1 by E in bracket P1 L1 by A1 plus P2 L2 by A2 plus P3 L3 by A3. This is for a uh, bar which is having three sections only. If we are considering N section, in that condition, this formula will be delta equivalent to 1 by E in bracket P1 L1 by A1 plus P2 L2 by A2 plus up to Pn Ln by An. That is equivalent to, we can write it as 1 by E summation of Pl by A. This, here you can see a diagram of a bar of varying cross section area. Here we are uh, considering a bar AD which is having three sections, section AB, section BC and section CD of varying cross section area. Section AB which is having length L1 and cross section area A1, section BC having cross section area A2 and length L2 and the section CD having length L3 and uh, the uh, cross section area is A3. So, for uh, computing the total deformation, we have to draw free body diagram of individual sections of the bar. Here, we are taking first section of that particular bar. The first section is AB, area A1 and length L1. You can see the actual forces at the uh, ends. So, the net force at the left side of the bar is 10 kilonewton 
and net force at the right side of the bar uh, you can compute as 4 minus 6 plus 12 that is equivalent to 10 kilonewton. So, we can say the net force at the section AB is 10 kilonewton. In that condition, we can say the total deformation of section AB is 10 L1 by A1E. The total deformation for that particular section AB is 10 L1 by A1E. Similarly, the second section, section BC, which is having cross section area A2 and length L2. Here, the net force at the left side of the section is 10 minus 4, which is equivalent to 6 kN. And the net force at the right side of the section, which is 12 minus 6, that is equivalent to 6 kN. So, in that condition, we can say the net force at the section BC is 6 kN and the total deformation of section BC is 6 L2 by A2E. Similarly, in third section, section CD, which is having area A3 and L3 uh, and the length L3. So, the net force at the left side of the bar is 10 minus 4 plus 6. That is equivalent to uh, 12 kN and uh, the net force at the right side of the section is or it is 12 kN. So, in that condition we can say the net force at the um, section CD is 12 kN and the, uh, the total deformation of uh, the section CD is 12 L3 by a3E. So, with reference to the free body diagram of the bar, or uh, if we prefer the, if we refer this uh, figure, so we can say the total deformation of the bar AD will be, if we are uh, denoting it as delta, that will be equivalent to summation of deformation of all three sections, that is equivalent to 1 by E in bracket. 10 L1 by A1 plus 6 L2 by A2 plus 12 L3 by A3. So, this was the total deformation for the bar which is having varying cross-section areas. Thank you.